I am glad I-95 is getting a facelift, but I am really tired of this commute. I know, honey. Come sit down. Now, you should really consider working from home. I just love it. At getting more done with fewer interruptions. Plus, I'm taking one more car off the road. So it's a win for me, for traffic, and for the environment. True. It, most of my work is done on a computer. But I'd be afraid I'd miss everyone at work. Well, that's understandable. I mean, maybe you could telework one or two days a week and see how it goes. And since my office is in the den, we could set up the middle bedroom for you. Thank you. Bye now. <sighs> Mrs. Gleason, I was hoping to talk with you about telework. With the latest construction on I-95, my commute's been a lot longer lately. I was thinking that telework could be the solution. Since I don't have to be in the office every day to do most of my work, would you be okay if I worked from home part of the week? It's funny you mention that. Remember that conference I went to just last month? There was a session about telework. It's becoming more popular and easier to do. And you're right, a good amount of your work is computer-based. Let's have you work from home two days a week. They say Wednesday is the toughest day to commute, so let's try Wednesday and Friday. How does that sound? I think that's great. Thank you. I'm sure I'll be able to get a lot of work done on those days. I'm looking forward to it. Dinner's ready. I'll be right down. How was your day? Fantastic. Teleworking is a great idea. I'm already into my third week. I'm getting so much more done. Plus, it's one less car on I-95 during construction. I might even stick with it after construction's finished. Thanks for the idea. <laughs> and thanks, Mrs. Gleason, for being so flexible. 